Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. One feature I would really love to see in Ultimate Admiral is the ability to do wave defense, where you build your ship, and then you come up against increasingly difficult waves of enemy ships. So, for example, you could be starting out with a battleship, and you might be going up against, uh, let's say, two destroyers and a battleship. You win that round. You take some damage, but overall your ship's still afloat. And then you move on to a more difficult tier where you face, for example, a battleship assisted by two heavy cruisers, and so forth and so on. It's something I think would make the game quite interesting to just keep pushing your design to the limit. Unfortunately, we don't have any such thing currently. Maybe they're going to add that later. I don't know. All I can do is hope. Um, but for now, we're going to be doing a US super battleship build. Now, there is not really any super battleship in the line that there's something bigger than Montana that was ever designed. Montana was, I think, about 60, 65,000 tons, uh, which in the tier or in the scope of Ultimate Admiral is actually still fairly small, considering you can get German battleships going up to 130,000 tons. I'm going to be designing something to the maximum tonnage of the US, uh, some fairly sizable guns, and of course, since it is a US battleship, just a lot of guns. This ship, um, considering we're starting at 30,000 meters and we have quite a lot of different enemy opponents, I want to have her as a bit more of a brawler. So I'm not going to go with as many guns, but I will go with quite a lot of armor and make sure that I can get into range, uh, defend myself at shorter range, and make sure that I don't um, lose the ability to maneuver. At least I hope not. But even with a ship, um, <laughs> even with a ship that has the maximum engine auxiliary or auxiliary engines and better uh, turning shaft or propeller shaft, you're still looking at a turning circle of 1,300 meters at 33 knots. If I reduce that number to 23 knots, the turning circle is still pretty vast. Nevertheless, I want to make this thing fast, and I want to be able to brawl, ideally both in ample quantities. Triple bottom hull, maximum protection, all or nothing armor scheme, anti-flooding systems, uh, coincidence rangefinder because we're going into short range, acoustics, I want to see those torpedoes coming so I can brace myself for impact because beyond that, I can't really do that much. It's not like I'm going to dodge. Um, let's see, we're going to need a funnel, potentially two, as one funnel might not cut it. Yeah, 36% engine efficiency. That is not good enough. Mm hmm. <laughs> That'll definitely not cause smoke interference, will it? Yeah, it might. Holy shit, and lots of it too. 18.5 minus 5.5% base accuracy. If I put a funnel there, 73.5 minus 22%. I think it doesn't really matter where you put it, you're just looking at a ton of smoke interference. Which is unfortunate, but I think there's not that much that you can do about it. I'm gonna have to pick a sort of sweet spot between the amount of smoke interference and the engine efficiency that I'm willing to accept. This is, for me, pretty acceptable, um, because I, s I don't think I can get any higher than this. The alternative is to lower speed a little bit and see if I can get my engine efficiency higher without getting more smoke interference. So let's say 31 knots, 86.6, but smoke interference does not change since I have not added any more funnels. There. All right, that'll be it. Um, starting with the secondary armament, because I always tend to run out. I think you can put five inches on there, but let me check. No, you can put sixers on there. Sevens even? Eight's probably too big. Well, no, it's not too big for all of the slots. But some of these, since they're slightly angled, don't like it that much. They won't fit there. The six can still fit there. The sevens? Wow. Based on what I'm seeing, I think this turret's clipping through the other one. But apparently the game does not consider that to be much of a problem. Interestingly. All right, auto loaders and electrohydraulic turrets. We're gonna make sure that this thing has the ability to bring these guns to bear very, very quickly. Now, of course, this is just child's play when it comes to building one of these big American ships. 
because we have a, uh, a severe lack of secondary armament. The amount of guns is not good enough. We need to go bigger. I'm going to have triple two inches over there. I can have them there. I cannot have them there because the turrets here are too big. If I put triple threes, can that fit? No, you can fit one triple three. Two triple twos. Yeah, that's I think what's supposed to fit there. And then let's revert this to five inch duals. There we go. All right, more two inch guns, please. I think you have some slots over there. What can fit there? I can sort of fit these things in, but they're not officially slotted there. The three inches are. I'm going to do the same thing towards the stern, there and there. Current armament, secondary armament only. Uh, that is 12 8 inch guns, 8 5 inch guns, 36 3 inch guns, and 33 2 inch guns. And now to put on some main armament. Considering I'm going for short range, I think 20s are too much. They're simply not needed. It is too much firepower for what I'm going to be using. 16 inches are probably sufficient, especially if I close in. And um, based on what I'm planning here, which is just a ship that pushes in pretty quick. I don't think I'm going to need a ton of firepower on the stern. Uh, but as I will be mingling with their formation quite a bit, I'm going to try and get a bit more firepower on the stern in the form of some secondaries. Let's shift this thing over here. Can we have that be overlooking an 8-inch triple? Actually, no, 8-inch dual. So that it shares ammunition. Point six aft. No, that's too close to the secondary tower. Okay. Oh, it is too close to the tower there. Or sorry, to the eight inch. There. Eight inch dual. Slight aft weight offset, so I can just scoot this one forward a bit. They do look a little out of place, these guns. What about going 17s? That means the reload is slightly worse. But your punch is bigger. 863 versus 1176. They are heavier, though. I wonder if those 17s fit on this. Yeah, they don't. So we're also going to have to upgrade our barbette to a huge one. There we go. All right. The ship is perfectly balanced. We have a main battery of nine 17-inch guns. We have a substantial secondary amount or a, a substantial amount of secondary guns. We can add a couple more eights over there. Um I'm going to sacrifice those and try to put some more eights over here, which will also aid with defeating enemy small ships. It does somewhat, no, actually not even somewhat, it seriously limits the amount of firepower here. The firing angle towards the bow is just non-existent. Uh, what if I swap it around? Like put that there and put these here. I'd rather have my secondary armament have a reduced firing angle than the other way around. Point one, good. And then we have our little... No, we don't have our little guns. Did I not put those in? There. And this thing can fire right over it. I wouldn't want to be manning one of these things when this thing fires. But, hey, we'll just uh, hope that we don't get assigned to duty over there. All right, armor belts. We are going to go close in, which means armor belts are going to be very important. I can probably fit about 18 inches of belt armor. Uh, turret armor is going to be important. 22 inches there. Secondary. Oh, that's a bit much on the secondaries. 
let's see, about eight inches there. I'm boosting the conning tower a bit more. Because we're going to be taking damage all over the place. There is one thing that I'm kind of missing in the ship editor here. And that's the ability to add more second or more armor to your primary and secondary tower. Because for some reason, it looks like you just cannot really manually adjust the armor scheme on those. And I don't quite get why. Oh, 14. Sacrifice a little from the conning tower. There. All right. This is the New Mexico. Just the new, well, let's say newly envisioned New Mexico. Main firepower consisting of nine 17-inch guns. Then we have 22 8-inch guns, 8 5-inch guns, 36 3-inch guns, and 33 2-inch guns. Let's bring it on. Our opponent today will be the German Navy. They have a battleship, a battlecruiser, one heavy, three lights, and three destroyers. Uh, I only have one ship, so here we go. New Mexico immediately opens up. One thing I have not thought to do is bring more uh, <laughs> bring more ammo. Oh, this is a gorgeous looking ship. What you got? Eight 16 inchers. Secondaries galore. Look at that. 12 5 inch guns, 28 4 inch guns, and 18 4 inch guns. Interesting. Doesn't seem that big, actually. Now, the New Mexico's turning circle supposedly is 1100 meters. Um, I don't think so, because if I try and make a turn, I'm going to be looking at about 3.3 kilometers. So that's not strictly accurate. Look at how far that A turret can turn, because it's not looking at the B turret directly. I do hope that uh, I can, uh, well, let's say please quite a few of the people who are thinking American Super Battleship should look like this. I imagine there are various different ways of interpreting this. Some people might think it needs to be completely filled with main gun armament. Uh, some people might think it has a ridiculously good armor belt. Other people might go, no, it's, uh, it's missing secondaries. There need to be more secondaries, potentially at the expense of main guns and maybe even armor. But I try to make these things somewhat balanced. In this case, I uh, decided to forego speed in exchange for firepower and armor. As they say, you can usually have two of the three. But having all three is difficult at best. Okay, we have managed to get one hit. Um... I just don't know what we hit. Because whatever we hit was not the battleship. So what? What did we just make a big hole in? It's inside of a smokescreen, so it's either a light cruiser or destroyer. Since it took 272 damage, I think it was a light cruiser. Because a destroyer would probably be destroyed with a 17-inch high explosive shell. Now, the New Mexico is designed to be brawling. So let's have her do just that. We are spotting more ships. There. You took a hit. Who is that? That's a light cruiser. Wrong place, wrong time. 12 7 inch guns, 1 triple 3. No visible torpedo launchers. That's good. It means I have less to worry about. Destroyers. Light complement of torpedoes. More built as a forward facing gunnery platform with 6 5 inch guns. Okay. Currently not a threat, but I don't know what those torpedoes range out to. I think that light cruiser actually got pretty lucky not to get instantly deleted by the New Mexico.
still think the cinematics in this game look really good. Like the short clips that you can make like this. And to think that all of these secondary guns have yet to fire. You just gotta get into range. So far I have done a little bit more damage. What, was something blocked? Yeah. Ah, a 16 shell managed to hit us but barely do anything. Partial pen on the bow deck extended. I do not have a lot of armor there. 3.3 inches only. Accuracy is going up the closer we get. Identification still pending. Now one thing about this game is that people seem to think that it is still not available. Um, it is. It has been available for about a year or two. And yes, it's still not finished, but that's a whole different discussion. But people are saying, when is this game finally going to become available? Um, it is. Check the link in the description. You can get it right now. You might balk at the price tag of 50 bucks, uh, which I think is fair for what we have in the game. 50 bucks is quite a lot of money. But um, they are supposedly still working on the game and there are more things coming. It's just that their communications between the studio uh, slash devs and their audience could use some work. There we go. The 8 inches are opening up. I'm hoping that the main guns can wipe out the battleship and the, the secondaries, the 8s mostly, can deal with the light cruiser. We have taken a hit for burning. I'm not sure what that hit was from. Because there was no registered hit. Well, at least it didn't do any damage. That's the thing. Notification is still pending. This is the battle cruiser. Battle cruiser with a mere six? 16 inch guns? Is that it? Oh, that's because you spent the rest of the deck building secondaries. Holy, you really would not want this thing to start harassing your convoy. This is more of a, I'm going to kill every single thing smaller than a heavy cruiser and smile while doing it. Um, and, oh, by the way, I have some 16-inch guns in case I encounter something a little bigger. Interesting German design. Now, I really want to get ID on their battleship so I can see what sort of pen chance they have. Because I think it's going to get progressively worse for them. As they're about to encounter my very heavily armored nose. I've taken a few hits from 16s from the battleship and the battlecruiser. There we go. The 8-inch are now actually doing damage against the already damaged light cruiser. Let's have another sail pass, shall we? Which one of you need to go first? I think this one. This is one of their DDs. And it's capable of putting out quite a few torpedoes. Hard to starboard. We're going to slow the ship down a bit. Because I'm pretty much at the range where I would like to be. And I need those 8 inches to start taking care of that DD before it starts laying eggs. And uh, I'm going to be forced to dodge pretty badly. Identification 97. 98. I know that the battleship's identified, but this is a bigger priority. 99. 
Torps are away on the battleship. They are fast torps. I will see them coming. I have detected them already. I've detected something. Here. The moment they were launched, I detected them. So I get a big warning for about five clicks. Maximum star return. If the V1 also launches torpedoes, it's going to get increasingly uncomfortable. Because I don't really have that many different ways to turn. I do have a torpedo blister, anti-torp 3. And your torpedoes are 23 inch, so despite having a torpedo blister, they will hit hard. At this point, almost all the guns are firing. The 3s, the 2s, the 5s, and the 8s. And we're all targeting the destroyer. Of course, with the exception of the 17s, which is still trying to take out the Kaiser. The Kaiser, with her 16-inch guns, is having a pretty bad time trying to pen this ship. On the other hand, I probably shouldn't have... Wow! I actually have quite a bit of trouble penetrating that ship. 26%? That is very low. What sort of armor belt do you have? 16 inches of armor belt? 20 inches on the turret. She might not have a whole lot of firepower, but she is very well protected. We have torpedoes in the water. Um, since I have pretty nicely dodged these, I can probably wait until I completely clear of that path. Like now, and then throw the engines in reverse. That'll damage the engines. But it'll also slow the ship down a lot faster. Making that torpedo solution that the V1 had completely invalid. Main guns on the Königsberg, please. Crap. This is going to probably hurt. Because I thought that 109,000 tons of steel would probably slow down, sl or slow down faster, but it's not working. I did throw off these, but I'm going to get hit by at least two. Bit of a headshot on the light cruiser. Hit, hit. 318 damage. Main guns on the Atlantis, please. The V3 will not be able to reload her torpedoes in time. Ah, Battlecruiser Fürst Bismarck. Maximum bulkheads, 42 knots. Quick one. That goes to show that this thing is even better at raiding convoys than I was already expecting. Come on. Get rid of the DDs. There's still one in the back there. Kill it! What do you have? Maxi? Maxi bulkheads. Her rudder's stuck. One of my engines out of commission as well. At least temporarily. Hit and fire damage on the Atlantis. But she... Oh, she doesn't have too many bulkheads. It's fairly good news for her, because otherwise I could pretty quickly sink her. The light cruisers are very well protected. Secondary switching to the V1. Five percent chance only to pen the battleship. Reverse, 12. So I can probably out-tank them, provided I don't take any more torpedoes. There we go. That's the damage to the Atlantis I'm looking for. Because I'm just trying to eliminate as many th uh, torpedo threats as I can. Damage to the main tower. The Atlantis is packing 11-inch guns. Graf Spey-ish. Torpedoes... Augmented with 5-inch guns, 4-inch. This is actually... Well, with, maybe with the exception of the 5s, but pretty Graf Spey-ish with the torpedoes on the stern. Come on, get that rudder back online, will ya? Because it would be very beneficial to be able to dodge anything. Or at least make sure I don't give full broadside to the enemy battleship. V1 has taken some flooding damage, main guns firing at the Atlantis, and doing a lot of damage, but no further flooding. 
Come on, New Mexico. We can take the entire German fleet. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Chance to pen the Bismarck? 36 and growing. Good. Twenty-five percent still. With that damaged engine, I cannot go very fast. I can go about twenty-four knots, and considering that their ship is doing twenty-nine and their battle cruiser is way faster, I might not be able to catch it. Let's go back to full speed, or at least as full as I can get it. Come on, sink it. The Atlantis was missed again by the New Mexico. Rudder seems to be slightly more responsive, but not by much. The Atlantis sinks. Very good. Main guns against the... Um, hmm. First Bismarck. 8% chance to hit. I just need a few good hits to slow her down. Looks like my guns are not too accurate when it comes to trying to hit the V1. No. Oh crap, she's gonna throw torpedoes at me again. Right about now. All guns, target the V1. If this thing is bow in, that'd be great. Because then it cannot launch. Come on, any 17 inch hit would do. My explosive only. We cannot have this thing launch. It just did. Oh dear. Kill it. Too late. Torpedoes are underway, but only one. Only the quintuple launched, the triple did not. Nevertheless, that's probably enough trouble as is. Judging by the torpedoes, I might get hit by two, because I cannot swing my stern around fast enough to evade that one. Uh, yeah, no, let's not put the main guns to work on the DD. Just not. Ah! Torpedo hit again. There's the torpedoes. Oh, dear. That's a big spread. With this damaged rudder, I cannot turn. The Kaiser has a really bad chance to pin me. It's not really going to be the biggest problem that I have. Oh, I should have prioritized those DDs a lot more than I did. But I thought that the secondaries would be able to handle it. Oh, actually, it might not be too bad. I can dodge all of these. This one's probably going to be an issue. Unless I misestimate... No, this one's going to hit. Because it's a fast torp. <clears throat> Once again, slamming into the stern. And this one's going to hit me towards the bows. Structural integrity down to 41%. Really? Flash fire. Mm-mm. Right, next time around, bring more torpedo bulge, because this is not the way that I wanted to go out. Despite, though, despite that, um, torpedo blister, it would reduce torpedo damage, but it would not reduce the amount of flash fire chance. Fuck's sake. Ugh, I forgot about the lidite. Uh-huh. That's why I wasn't penning. Watch this. It's not the first time I keep forgetting this. Uh, Lidite 2. Pen. 15,000 meters, 22.7 inches. 15,000 meters, 22.7 inches. But. IT&T. 15,000 meters, 27 inches. It gets a lot better. Let's do another round, shall we? This time around with better firepower. Uh, and maybe a bit more armor as well. Let's see what we can change. 
since I now don't have to spend as much on um, propellant. Ooh. That's a bit much. Heavy shells. And then maybe do a bit more with armor. Yeah, I can get a, a little bit more deck armor and a bit more conning tower armor. Actually, a lot more. Because I got 100 tons left. There. Let's go again. All right, new round, new fleet. Same ship. What's the battleship have this time around? We're looking at 15 inch guns. Again, boosted by a lot of secondaries. A triple eight, 18 sixes, 20, actually make that 26 three inch guns. No, 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 uh, 66 three inch guns. That's the bane of destroyers right there. Their battle cruiser. Wait, did you forget to pack your secondary armament this morning? No, I didn't. Um, eight 14 inchers, a double seven, 12 eights, holy shit, 42 fours, and another 23s. That's a lot of firepower. All right, new max. I still want to get closer. We're going to do our closing in maneuver slightly slower so I can get the better main gun accuracy from running at full speed instead of flank. And I'm hoping that also this will allow me to keep the DDs at range a little better. Range 25, I can easily hit that. I can hit out to 32, almost 33. And I should be able to pen pretty nicely. Heavy cruiser has been detected. The heavy cruiser packing 10 7 inchers, 15 fives. I'm not sure. Excuse me? What did I just kill? I hit something for 700 damage. It was not the battleship. Destroyer or light cruiser? It's in a smoke screen. It was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Anyway, this uh, heavy cruiser of theirs is a weird design. Look at how much firepower they have on the front. But I'm not sure if you can bring all of these to bear. And if the ship is heading away, then she still has guns to, to fire at you, including torpedoes. But most of those... No. All of those secondaries, 5 inchers, are on the bow. Okay. What are we currently trying to target? This one, please. Focus on the battleship. That's currently our biggest threat. The moment that we close to about 15,000 meter range, I want to switch to the destroyers. Because then they become the biggest threat. I've been hit again. Those 15 inch guns are doing a little bit of tickle damage against the mid. Uh, yeah, only deck penis so far. Not too bad. Still not quite sure what I hit, but I think it was a destroyer. Because they only have two of those, but they have three light cruisers. And now we have some damage on the battleship. But not too much. Range, 17 clicks out. That means that the 8-inch guns are now going to be joining this fight. Ow. That was a 15 inch, so that was the battleship. Let's turn a bit more. I'm not too worried about the 15s, but if I can turn more, I can bring the 17s all to bear, especially the stern turret. Too heavily damaged. 
Sure, I took some hits, but it's not that bad. I'm gonna, just going to say it again. I have my issues with this game, but the sail pass looks spectacular. And I hope you guys agree. Range to the DD is now 12 kilometers. Turn perpendicular, slow down a bit. Ah, hits. Very good. Little bulkheads, because they're flooding very quickly. Torpedoes there and there. And here. But if you're charging me bow in, you're not able to launch those. That's good. That's another hit from the 8 inch. We're doing exactly what I want. Keeping the destroyers at around 12 kilometer range. Although they don't seem to be too dissuaded. They're still trying to charge in. We're fighting their battleship at fairly short range. 12 kilometers there, the Preussen. The Preussen has 14.9 inch of armor belt. Which means that I should be able to pen that. Can you pen the New Mexico? No, you can't. I can, however, damage you. DD, 96%. ID, 97, 98, 99. 100. Torpedoes. Very poorly visible. Minus 65%. In that case, I'm even happier that I already killed off one of them. Preussen is a bit angled, but it doesn't stop me from damaging it. Damage to the light cruiser. The light cruiser, is this a torpedo hazard? Oh, sorry, it's a DD, it's not a light cruiser. These are the light cruisers. They do carry torpedo launchers, but visibly only a quad per side. And they're boosted by eight six-inch guns. Which means I can pretty safely ignore those, except for the torpedoes. Eliminate that DD. We got the Comet Heavy Cruiser with their torpedo launchers. They have better range. Okay. Come on, sink the DD. I'm gonna get very close to that battleship. Yes, there it is, flooding. They have launched torpedoes, however. Turn away. Maximum, turn, maximum starboard turn. Big amount of damage there to the poison. Their DD is down, but the torpedoes are underway. More damage to the Preussen. Magdeburg, light cruiser, taking a lot of attention from the secondaries. I still have not seen their torpedoes yet. Steady as she goes. Unfortunately, most of my secondaries are on the side of the ship, so I cannot really bring that many of them to bear on the enemy. But this is why I'm particularly happy that I put that gun on a barbette, so I can still have six... Well, make that about ten, maybe even twelve or fourteen eight-inchers firing at them. It just means that I don't have nearly as much firepower to bring against the battleship. Now, where are the torpedoes? Hit. Not too much damage. Their chance to pen me is probably bad. Yeah, 4.3. I'm also angled away from them, so the ricochet chance is really bad. Steady as 
still nothing on the torps. I really want to know where they are. Where are you hiding those? Magdeburg. I thought she was dead, but she managed to claw her way back. Still no torp spotted. Could it be that I changed course so much that the torpedo sailed past? Without causing any issue? Back to 10 kilometers against the Preussen. The chance to pen me is still terrible. But it is going up. As I'm currently turning back. Presenting a much flatter surface for them to try and hit and pen. Flooding! Let's check the damage on the Preussen. Some really big chunks were taken out of her bow. Looks like I gave that turret a good black eye. It's functional, but it's damaged. The other main turrets are still fully functional. Some potentially deck damage over there. She's flooding, but I think she has a good amount of damage control. Yeah, there. Auxiliary engines, tier 4. Crip 4 armor, barbette 4, anti torp 4. Standard bulkheads, anti flood 1, citadel 5. Cordite explosives, auto loaders, electro hydraulical turrets. At this point, I'm probably going to still run into the torpedoes. If they still exist. Let's see, is my chance going down? Yeah, 8-3, 8-2, 8-1, 8. There we go. If you want to see what the enemy's chance to pen you is, make sure you have them identified first. And then have a look by clicking on the enemy battleship and then like... Well, you're not trying to right-click your own ship, but something like it. In this case, I can see that the enemy battleship has a 6% chance to pen me. And all the red sections means that they cannot possibly do damage against those. Those are just impenetrable. The other sections of the ship that are not lighting up red are indeed capable of being damaged. We got the Derflinger. That's their battle cruiser, and they do have torpedoes, a lot of them as well. I'm pretty much sailing directly towards it. What's your chance to pen me? Because you got smaller guns. Yeah, you got 14s. So your chance to pen is about 7.5. Preussen probably heading away. 6.263. It's going up. What size are those? 24 inch. Okay, that's not ideal. Switch the main guns over to the battle cruiser for a bit. Looks like some of their other light cruisers have decided that this fight is not worth fighting. Fire. Keep heading slightly away. I have a 100% chance to hit the battle cruiser. I wonder why, because this ship was... Oh, sorry, no, that was your predecessor. They were very quick. You're only doing 38, potentially. But... I don't think you're actually moving that quickly, are you? Well, at least now you're not. Not with two damaged engines, a damaged rudder, flooding and fire. Now they're doing 10 knots, trying to stay close to the battleship, but... They did just throw out some torpedoes. Star return, increase speed. Throw that solution off. We are not increasing speed. Massive damage to the Derflinger. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Steady as she goes. Because if I'm turning, I'm losing speed. Destroyed secondary gun, more fires. I should be safe. Yeah. Come on, wipe out that battle cruiser. Flooding.
again. Get the 17s to wipe it out. There we go. Ammo detonation. The ship's down to 1% structural and dies. Boom. Battleship next. Now we are very short range. We're 4 kilometers out. Your chance to pen me has gone up to about 12. My chance to pen you, probably about 50, 60. Yeah, 50.7. I'll take those odds. Happily. And it looks like some of these light cruisers are still stuck with the formation bug and thereby not actually posing any kind of a threat. Not that they were much of a threat anyway, but if they had charged me with the three of them with torpedoes, it could have been more of an issue. Especially as I would have been already dodging the torpedoes from the Durflinger. So the 24 inchers would have been the main priority to dodge, but there would have been so many torpedoes around it would have been difficult. Lots of shells just ricocheting off the ship. There. Just... It bounces off. Can't touch this. More flooding. With three damaged engines, your damage control ability is going to be reduced. You destroyed a secondary. How rude. Well, it was not one of the eights, anyway. Potentially a three-incher. Come on, can we have you go out with a bang? One big boom. Courtesy of an ammo detonation. Oh, watch this. Here come the 15-inch shells. Some damage, some hit. And these are the 15 inch shells there and there as they're ricocheting off the ship. And there's two more. One, two, three, four. That's the armor belt. Working as intended. Let's see if I can also catch that from your side. Your armor is not as good, but it has a 50 50 chance to pen. Yep, I'm also ricocheting. And I know that these shells should be deforming, but that's not something that they have rendered currently. If something that fast with that much mass flies at something that just stops it, then it should be entirely deformed. All right, heavy cruiser next. A comet. Oh, you just launched your torpedoes? Really? I'm just gonna charge down the heavy cruiser. I'm gonna ignore the lights, especially the ones all the way back there. This one, the Elbing, got a bit too close for her own good, and the 8-inch will finish her off easily. There's the torpedo group. Speed, 24-5. Ooh, this is going to be a close run with the torpedo here. Too close, in fact. I'll hit that straight on the nose. Or it's going to shave the paint right off. Yeah, that hit. 200 damage. But that's the only time that she's going to be able to do that. Because I'm barreling right down on the comet. 27, 28, 29. Range 5, 8. You're gone. Alright, let's kill it with fire. Because your armor belt of 6 inch plus 118%. I think 17 inch high explosive is going to do all sorts of nasty stuff to you. Yeah, the ship's burning. Seriously burning. Minimum bulkheads. I'm surprised she hasn't been going down yet. Boom. 
Still no flooding. I'm just concussing this ship, not actually causing any floodings. That's more like it. Gone. Alright. Elbing. 8%. Or sorry, 8 kilometers out. Anyway. I think this battle is decided. The previous one should also have gone to the Americans. But because I forgot to upgrade my propellant to anything else than Lidite. I actually got a flash fire. So effectively, one for one. Um, should have been two for none. And the American super battleship just reigns supreme. Now let me know down below in the comment section, what is a super battleship according to you? What is, uh, what's your perspective on that? Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle, hope you guys enjoyed the close-ups, and I'll see you soon for more videos.